Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can easily make a perfect hairline when it comes to Photoshop and you can see the result that we're going to be achieving by the end of this video. You can see before and after, before and after. So we just want to learn how we can easily come and get to fix this kind of hairline and get a perfect hairline for our subject in this case. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe in case you're watching and you aren't subscribed to this channel. So I'm just going to come and delete this. So in order to get that perfect hairline, simply come and get the image. First of all, import the image into Photoshop. Then come and get the pen tool. So after getting the pen tool, we have to make an outline of the hairline that we want to work on. So for this kind of hairline, you're just going to come and first of all duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl J. Or you can use Command J on the keyboard. Then come and try to outline the hairline that we want to fix in this case. So look for those boundaries or the edges where you want the hairline to pass in this case. So for this, I'll just briefly start at this point. Make a point, click to make a point, just like that. And simply make small points in case you don't know how to use the pen tool. This is going to be very easy for you. So just simply make points. So it doesn't matter for the topmost part. Just we are trying to fix the hairline in this case. So I'm just going to come right here and make another point right there like that. So you can see in this other end or on this side, you can see it is making this kind of curve. So you as well have to make that curve and make one moving up like that. So once we're done doing that, make sure these two are on the same line in this case. So I'm just going to come and I make one right here then move and continue making my points like that so that I can get the hairline to look straight and I get a better kind of look. So I'm just going to do this right now and come and connect these points. So once I'm done making these rough points where I want the hairline to pass, I'm just going to come and right click and simply come to make selection. And I'm just going to be using a feather radius of 5 pixels. Make sure anti-alias is selected and new selection is right here, right there. So just come and click OK. And you can see we have made an outline of the hairline edges that we want. So, so for this case, we are simply going to come and get the clone stamp tool. Remember, the selection that we have made is selected inside the hair area. So after getting the clone stamp tool, for the settings, I'm just going to be using the hardness of 0%. Soft round brush is selected. Then the mode is set to normal. Opacity at 100%. Flow at 100%. Align is checked and the sample is set to current layer. So for this, we just want to sample within the hair area. Just like that. So hold down the option key on the keyboard to sample. Reduce on the size. Sample within the hair area option and click in the hair area and simply click once again. So option for Mac, alternate for those using Windows to sample and paste hair in those areas. So option, click to sample and simply paint over the hair like that. Option, sample, option, click to copy hair from the area that has more hair and simply do that for the rest of the hair area so we have to do this for every single area within the hairline that we want to work on so in case you feel like the, it is giving you very soft results you can as well come to the settings and choose the hard clone stamp tool so that it can really portray the hardness or the texture of the hair so i'm just going to do this for the hair area just like that so Take your time as you're trying to sample so that it doesn't create this kind of pattern like that. So right now you can see that we have tried to fix within the hair and right now we have this kind of portrait protruding hair to the skin. So we just want to right click on the selection. So right click within the selection and simply come to inverse. And in this way, right now it is the skin area below the hairline that will be selected so for this step we just want to fine tune the skin area so just come back to the settings of the clone stamp tool 
make sure you select it and simply come back to the settings this time around use a soft round brush clone stamp tool and simply do the same process so i'm just going to sample option sample from the skin area and click option click like that so sample from areas that don't have hair in this case sample like that and click like that to paint and in this way it is going to remove this kind of protruding hair from the model or from the subject skin so option alternate for those that are using windows so option for mac option click to copy the area that doesn't have hair on the skin and simply click over the area that is close to the hairline and you can see in this way it is going to be eliminating or removing this kind of protruding hair inside the forehead area or on the skin of the subject so once you're done doing this you can even take this further by simply come a, coming and getting the band tool and you paint within the hair to slightly darken it but right now this looks okay so you can press ctrl d or you can use command d to deselect the active selection and you can see what we have been able to achieve in this case this is the image before after before after before and after so you can see what we have been able to achieve in this case so in case you want the hairline to be very sharp you can as well use a slightly low radius so that you can have the feathering to be very very sharp in this case but i feel like this is okay for this case and you can go ahead and try to clean up the hair and remove all these dirty particles and for the patterns that are trying to really be repetitive you can simply get the patch tool and you try to patch those patterns to eliminate them so just draw around those patterns and you drag them so that you don't have this kind of repetitiveness uh, within the hair texture or the hair area so do this and you try to clean up the hair in this case so that you can try to remove some kind of repetitiveness from the patterns within the hair so you can see this is the image before after before and after before after so this is how you can simply create a very nice hairline for your subjects when it comes to photoshop and have this kind of clean results in your images i hope you have enjoyed this simple and straightforward kind of video and don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you have been watching and you are in subscribe to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.